Hello, everyone. Before we move on to developing further, programming further in Python, we are going to set up our IDE. Now, I like to use Sublime Text. So we're going to open up our web browser and search for Sublime, Sublime Text to download. So Sublime Text. I'm running on a 64-bit machine, so I use 64-bit. If you're running a 32-bit, just install 32-bit version. So it's downloaded. We're going to download it and we're going to install it. And you'll notice later that we all have to manually implement the Python interpreter so we can actually run Python files in Sublime Text. So we're going to install it. All right, close that. It's all finished. Now let's find our Python interpreter path. So when you search for Python in the start menu, open file location, and now before, for convenience sake, we're going to rename the Python file, the executable file that is, to Python with lower cases. So in my case, it's already done, but if it's different, right click, rename, and type in Python, law lowercase. Moving on, let's open, so, oops, I actually accidentally closed it, so Python, and then you go to your open file location. And then on the shortcut, you see from that search, you do go to properties and there should be a target field. You're gonna wanna copy this for later. You're gonna save that for later. We'll show you what to do. Just keep, this, save this for later. So let's open notepad. So we have this on the side. Just keep a notepad window open. Just save this path for later. And remember, this is arbitrary. So it could be different on your machine, depending on where you installed Python. But on my machine, this is what it is. If you can't see it right now, don't worry. We'll zoom in later. So we're going to minus that. All right, so we have the target. Now let's open Sublime Text. So Sublime. All right, here's Sublime Text. Pretty simple, right? But first, before diving into things, we're going to have to set up the build, a build system, that is. So. Here it says Python already, but don't this pro, this doesn't work because we tested it and there were some issues with the path. So we're gonna manually make a new build system. So you're gonna go to tools, build system, and then on the bottom you have new build system like I just did. All right, so here's our new build, it's empty right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open this. I have this piece of code, this piece of text saved. And this, you're gonna to wanna to copy this exact text and I'll explain what it is in a sec. So we're gonna copy this and paste it into here. And you'll see where our path comes into play. I already have it pasted in here for the sake of time. So we're gonna, you're gonna to have to paste the path from this file we opened in Notepad. Remember the file we opened in Notepad, we're going to open that and copy it to here. This is the path. And you have to remember that we're in Windows. So we have to use backslashes and we're using double backslashes to use because they're escape characters. So be sure to use those double slashes in the path portion of this piece of text for the build. So when we're done, we have this copy pasted and everything, all the path is set. We're gonna save this and then we're gonna save it as Python with a capital P, Python dot sublime dash build. So what this is, we created our own build system. We're going to save. All right, now we have sublime build. So let's make a Python file. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a new file. We're going to first save as, you don't have to do it but like this, but this is how I do it. Save as, and we're gonna name it test dot py that's a python file extension oh and of course don't forget if you're automatically in this inside a folder go to the desktop for simplicity's sake so save it as test.py all right so here's our python file and don't forget to apply the build the build system itself so system as you can see we added another python build system the first one, as I said before, does not work. 
So here's the build, second one, choose the second one. All right, so now we should have color coding for functions and stuff. So let's do welcome. So here's our line of code, print in Python. And in order to run this, we're gonna do control B, which is build. And as you can see, welcome printed in the console. And so now we have a full working Python IDE with Sublime Text. That is all for this tutorial. Please tune in next time.